good morning my dear friends and uh, a special good morning who is watching my youtube channel my youtube channel name is Sam Babu Kalilala. please watch my youtube channel every day and uh, subscribe my channel and give you uh, the fabulous support to running uh, <coughs> smoothly my youtube channel and give you uh, the moral support and i want to thank each one of us for who is the subscribe my youtube channel and today my dear friends i'm going to the explain the web forms already in the, the previous video uh, i explained i said uh, finite finite verb and non-finite verb finite verb and non-finite verb already i said in that in my previous video please watch my the previous video and load the carefully and get the gain the good marks in the competitive examinations and today i'm going to give that web clarification the web means that is an action word uh, and that non uh, finite verb uh, finite verb or non finite verb Finite verb means it can easily to change tenses, persons, and numbers. And non-finite verb means it cannot be changed by tenses, persons, and uh, numbers. In that non-finite verb uh, to a infinitive is there and gerund and uh, participles we have that non-finite verb. After a helping verb, we have it easily to identify that non-finite verb. That is that. Uh, finite verb and not finite verb. It, it is in my the previous video. So please watch my previous video and learn <coughs> easily to get good marks in that finite verb and non finite verb. Now here in this video, and verb can divide the four or uh, five types. The five types. What is that? The first one is the transitive verb, uh, intransitive verb. Dynamic verb and static verb, and fifth one is a verb in complete predication. Okay, my dear friends. So, what is the transitive verb? What is that? How we are identify? How we are write? What is the meaning by the transitive verb? A verb which has an object is termed as known as transitive. Verb. What is that? The transitive verb means a verb which has an object is termed as known as that is the transitive verb. What is an object? The object means noun or pronoun. Noun or the pronoun. For example, here the Ravi teaches English. In this sentence, we have a subject and we have a verb. And we have an object. And we have an object. When we have an object in the sentence, that is, we are calling a transitive verb. Okay, are you clear, my dear friends? And then, a transitive verb. A verb which has no object. A verb which has no object is known as a transitive the verb. For example, here, I go to school. Here, I go to school. This is a subject and this is the verb and this is not a not object. This is no object. So, to school, it's not an object. Okay. I slept very well. I need the subject. The slept is the verb. And very well, no object. The why because in transitive verb in the sentence, when we have it, no object, that is, we are calling in transitive verb, my dear friends. And then, fourth one is the dynamic verb. The Sorry. fourth one is the dynamic, the term is the dynamic verb. The verb which can be used in continuous form. Already we know that the continuous in the continuous tense we are using the in form ing in form. When we have that continuous immediately we have to find that in form. Likewise, here the dynamic form that means the verb which can be used in continuous form. For example, the playing, teaching, driving. So likewise, we are using that 
the dynamic forms are called we are adding the in form when we have a sentence we have a, the in form that is we are calling the starting the verb okay and next the fourth one means the starting verb the starting verb means for what the verb which cannot be used in continuous form a verb which cannot be used in the continuous form when we are not used at the continuous form that is we are calling the starting verb some some words we have some words we have in this words we cannot be used that in form we are not adding the use uh, in form uh, it is not possible to adding that in form some uh, some other words that is we are calling that starting the verb for example i believe you I want to see you now. When we do not have the ink from words, we are calling that starting verb. Okay, the first one is what is the transitive verb, and second one is intransitive verb, and dynamic verb, and starting verb. And then the fifth one is what is that? The fifth one is a verb incomplete. A verb. A verb in complete predication. In complete predication. So this is the, the fifth one. A, a verb in complete predication. That is the fifth one. What is that in uh, complete predication? What is that? A verb which requires the help of a verb uh, which requiring the help of some other word requiring a help of the help of some other words to complete its meaning as known as a verb complete incomplete predication that is we are calling a verb incomplete predication what is that a verb which requires the help of some other word to complete its Meaning as known as a verb, a complete incomplete predication. That is, we are calling a verb incomplete predication. For example, in that incomplete predication, uh, here, for example, he appears, he, he appears, and the second one is the flower smile. Flower, the flower smell, the flower smell, and then the third example shall we take? He sings. He sings. This is where the calling the incomplete, a verb incomplete predication that is we are calling. So, my dear friends. You should be understand what we have the verb forms that intransitive verb, intransitive verb, dynamic verb, and then the starting verb and a verb incomplete the predication. Already in the previous video, uh, finite verb and non-finite verb uh, verb the video is there in, in that in the previous video. In this video, we have uh, the five types of the verb. So please watch at your home frequently, uh, daily and the love the good marks from the web forms. So please, my dear uh, the friends, my dear friends, a uh, web forms it was very very easy to understand to gain the get good marks from the accountative the level exams. Please uh, watch every day my YouTube channel and please subscribe my YouTube channel and press that uh, press all the bell icon. Please watch. My YouTube channel name is Sam Babu Bapalibala. Thank you very much. And we'll meet again with the next topic the tomorrow. Thank you, thank you for watching.